at like 130,000 miles an hour. No, that might solve all our problems. Some intergalactic object that's hurt. This is this guy, Avi Loeb. The world was surprised when a strange signal came from three ICAT LAS. What was thought to be just another comet suddenly showed patterns too precise to dismiss. At first, scientists brushed it off as a glitch, but new data revealed movements and chemical signs no natural object should have. What they uncovered changed everything. The discovery of a cosmic heartbeat on the night of July 1st, 2025. The Atlas telescope in Chile caught something so faint it almost slipped past the daily sky scans. Usually these surveys pick up the usual suspects, asteroids drifting by, specks of cosmic dust, or comets glowing faintly. They're recorded, stored, and quickly forgotten. But this one refused to blend in. When scientists at the Minor Planet Center ran the numbers, the orbit came out all wrong. Instead of circling the sun like everything else in our solar system, its path traced a sharp curve that could only mean one thing. It was coming from beyond, and it would never return. That discovery alone was enough to grab global attention. An interstellar visitor isn't an everyday find, but as researchers dug deeper, the mystery grew stranger. The object was tearing through space at nearly 209,000 kilometers per hour, slicing across the plane of our solar system at just the right angle and timing, making it unusually easy for Earth's telescopes to catch sight of it. The odds of something like this happening purely by chance were shockingly low, less than one in 10,000 in an entire decade, according to detailed computer models. Teams from Atlas and the Zwicky Transient Facility went back to older images, pulling data from weeks before its discovery. No matter how many times they checked, the path stayed steady. There were no close brushes with planets, no gravity boost from larger worlds, nothing to explain its straight, calm approach. The trajectory looked deliberate, almost as if it had been plotted on a map across the stars. As one scientist stared at the final calculations, the thought hung in the air, unspoken but heavy. Maybe it was never meant to hide at all. When the James Webb Telescope turned its gaze on the strange visitor in early August, the findings went far beyond frozen gases. The heat maps didn't look like the usual messy patches of a natural object. Instead, the signals rose and fell in a steady beat, repeating every 147 seconds. It wasn't the uneven shine of sunlight bouncing off ice, and it wasn't the random bursts of gas you'd expect from a comet. It was too precise, too regular, and the scientists quietly began calling it a heartbeat. Signals of intent in Earth's first response. The deeper they looked, the more unusual it became. In the light spectrum, dark gaps appeared where emissions should have shown up. Those missing pieces suggested the inside wasn't solid, but filled with hollow or layered chambers. Advanced computer models painted a picture of an interior folded into repeating structures, almost like a Russian nesting doll with endless hidden spaces. To some on the team, the design looked less like a natural body and more like something built to think, an engine for processing information, maybe even designed to learn. The idea grew stronger when the models showed patterns that mirrored themselves again and again, as if tuned to respond to outside triggers. The surface only deepened the mystery. Scans picked up materials that had never been seen in any comet or asteroid before, hyper-reflective compounds that twisted and, and scattered light in impossible ways. At certain wavelengths, the outer shell even seemed to shift, almost as though it was changing its shine in response to being watched. Each fresh detail added weight to the growing, unsettling thought that this object wasn't simply drifting through space. It felt like it had a purpose, either to be discovered by people or to discover people. On August 8th, only a few days after Webb's detailed scan, the Minor Planet Center released fresh tracking data and something startling appeared. The object had shifted. The change in speed was tiny, just a few meters per second, but it was enough to steer it onto a new path, sliding it closer to Earth's orbital plane. Experts who studied the numbers agreed this couldn't be explained by random jets of game or the gentle push of sunlight. Natural comets wobble, stumble, and wander. This movement looked intentional, like a deliberate correction. One of the first to dive into the new data was Dr. Alani Marov, a theorist famous for tracing hidden patterns in cosmic events. As she examined the pulses coming from the object, she found something astonishing. The timing and rhythm weren't meaningless. They lined up perfectly with mathematical sequences found in nature, the Fibonacci spiral, prime numbers, and the golden ratio. Even more unnerving, the signal wasn't fixed. It shifted in real time, reacting to gusts of solar wind and even spiking during moments of strong radioactivity from Earth. It was behaving like it was listening, learning, and then folding what it sensed back into its own broadcast. To Marov's team, this wasn't noise, it was the beginnings of a language. As if that wasn't enough, 
Spectroscopy revealed the surface was laced with hydrocarbons so pure and uniform that no comet or asteroid ever observed came close. On Earth, these same compounds are linked to the chemistry of life itself, but here their arrangement seemed too precise, too perfect, almost as though they were laid out as building blocks, ready for replication or even adaptation. And just as the orbit change was confirmed, a new broadcast rose from the object, this time low, sweeping, and alive with constant adjustment, as though it had just begun speaking in a deeper voice. The object's surface began to shift like a mirror with a mind of its own, reflecting light in patterns that looked almost alive. To some, it seemed like the skin was rewriting itself, while others imagined it as a lock waiting for the right key. Whispers spread that this wasn't just a probe drifting through space. It might be a seed ship, built not only to watch but to awaken when it found something that mattered. Every number, every maneuver, and every pulse suggested decision, not chance. Then, on August 14th, deep in Antarctica at the Amundsen-Scott station, something extraordinary broke through the silence. Their microwave array picked up a sudden spike of energy, lasting only 23 milliseconds, sharp and unmistakable, perfectly aligned with the object's repeating pulse. Less than two minutes later, seismic sensors buried beneath the ice rang with low-frequency tremors, tripping alarms across the vaults. The scientists logged it as an oddity, but the synchronization was impossible to overlook. At almost the same time, magnetometers spread from Kirina in Sweden to Canberra in Australia recorded a strange wave in Earth's magnetic field. It was faint but perfectly timed with the Antarctic burst. No solar flares, no auroras, nothing known could explain it. Data zipped between agencies in a rush, crossing private networks and government channels. Global reactions to an unnatural signal. In the chaos, NASA's deep space network flagged something just as unsettling, a sudden blackout of telemetry from Voyager 2 as it brushed against the edge of the magnetosphere. For a brief moment, the probe crackled with static, followed by a strange echo. Officials labeled it a glitch, but the timestamp aligned exactly with the pulse from Atlas. And far above, as if answering in chorus, the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter stumbled. Passing over the Prosolarum region, its sensors faltered, stacking corrupted frames one after another. Buried inside the scrambled data was a signal, an encoded noise that, when pieced together, drew out a spiral that unfolded across five dimensions. Just as quickly as it appeared, it vanished, leaving behind only damaged frames and a rising sense of dread among the night shift analysts who had witnessed it unfold. Beneath the Andes, sensors buried in stone picked up a strange vibration. Caverns of magma and chambers of crystal all began to go in step with the same rhythm that had shaken Antarctica days earlier. Out in the Pacific, biologists tracking whales and birds saw their routes bend suddenly, as if something deep in the oceans or skies had shifted course. In the rush to make sense of it, private aerospace engineers launched one last daring probe. Blackbird Delta sped toward three Atlas, its instruments pouring back data bow until the very instant it arrived. The final images showed a web of endless mirrors, a wall of energy folding signals back on themselves. Then the feed went silent. The probe was gone. Across the globe, the pattern repeated itself. Microwaves, magnetic fields, seismic vibrations, even animal migrations, all of them falling into the same alien beat. Systems designed to catch chance events and background noise were now caught in lockstep with a pulse that did not belong to Earth. For the first time, the question wasn't whether the object had noticed us, but whether it had just opened something we never knew was closed. Unlike the fleeting visitors before it, Umamwe and Borisov, this one defied every expectation. Its path bent in ways that chance alone should have made nearly impossible. Webb's observations showed not random heat, but measured signals, pulsing every 147 seconds. Its surface was coated with compounds that shone back light in patterns never seen on natural rock. Ground-based telescopes confirmed the object had shifted its path toward the plane of Earth's orbit, while deeper analysis uncovered prime numbers, Fibonacci spirals, and golden ratios hidden in its pulses. Still, so much remains unknown. The true shape in three ice atlas has yet to be uncovered. The purpose of its signals and the reason for its maneuvers remain the center of heated debate. What is certain is that three ice atlas blurs the line between what is born of nature and what is built by design. Its ongoing influence on Earth, the Moon, and beyond now sits under the eye of the world, demanding constant attention and a willingness to face whatever truth lies ahead, unlocking the secrets of a comet from beyond. For the second time in under 10 years, people around the world wondered if a mysterious object from beyond our solar system 
might be something more than just a rock floating in space. NASA quickly stepped in, bringing a grounded perspective. Scientists trained telescopes on the visitor, using powerful tools like Hubble, James Webb, and observatories on Earth, studying every angle they could. What they discovered was clear. This object behaves exactly like a comet. Its movements, its glow, the way it sheds Goish and Washington, all of it matched what astronomers expect from icy bodies traveling through space. As it moved closer to the sun, the comet developed a glowing halo and a trailing tail, created as sunlight heated its frozen surface, releasing streams of Wampen and tiny particles. Looking closer with special instruments, scientists found water ice and carbon dioxide, noticing that it had more carbon dioxide compared to water than most comets in our solar system. Even the tiny dust particles reflected light in unusual ways, giving the comet a distinctive shine. None of this hinted at alien machinery or secret technology. It was simply a comet showing the natural variety that comes from forming in a star system far from our own. NASA also reassured everyone that this comet posed no danger to Earth. Its closest point will still be more than 170 million miles away, and its path past Mars, Jupiter, and Venus keeps it at safe distances. Comets can often surprise astronomers, suddenly brightening or fading as ice pockets break or dust drifts off, but these strange behaviors are all part of normal comet physics. Odd or unexpected traits don't mean something is artificial, they're just the way space works. What makes this comet exciting isn't fear or speculation, but the chance to peek at material from another solar system. Each visitor from the stars carries clues about how it was born, the mix of elements it holds, and the story of a world far beyond our reach. By studying it, scientists get to hold a tiny piece of another place in the universe, understanding how different stars and planets form, and learning things that nothing in our own solar system could show. The discovery isn't about aliens, it's about seeing the universe in ways we never could before and watching the secrets of distant worlds drift gently across our skies. This comet is fascinating because the amount of carbon dioxide it carries hints that it formed in an incredibly cold part of its home system, far away from its star, much farther out than most comets in our solar system. If it really came from the thick disk of the Milky Way, as some studies suggest, it could be more than 7 billion years old, existing long before our sun and planets were born. That transforms it from just a passing curiosity into a time capsule, a frozen fragment of another world's nursery, drifting through space for billions of years before finally arriving in our neighborhood. By studying it, astronomers are able to peek into the processes that shape planetary systems across the galaxy, learning how stars and planets form and evolve in ways that no Earth-bound experiment could replicate. What makes this comet even more intriguing is how it compares to the few other interstellar visitors scientists have seen. The first one, Oumuamua, didn't display the glowing halo called a coma, which puzzled astronomers for years. The second, Borisov, looked very much like a familiar comet, complete with a tail streaming behind it. Atlas, the comet in question, falls somewhere in between. It behaves like a comet, showing a coma and tail as it releases gas and dust, but its chemical makeup and the way its dust scatters light are unusual. These differences excite astronomers because each object offers new insights. By comparing these rare wanderers, scientists can figure out whether the way our solar system formed is common or something unique in the galaxy. Each new interstellar visitor is like a missing piece in a gigantic cosmic puzzle. The discussion around this comet also shows how science really works. Bold ideas and creative proposals, like those suggesting it could be artificial, push researchers to examine everything carefully. At the same time, solid evidence is what ultimately answers the question. NASA's detailed observations and careful analysis prove that this comet is entirely natural, showing how speculation and facts work together to advance knowledge. Modern telescopes have made these discoveries possible in ways that were unimaginable just a decade ago. Teams around the world can coordinate their observations watching how every bit of gas and dust behaves, measuring light reflections, chemical ratios, and tiny dust particles, capturing a complete picture of these fleeting visitors. However, this comet is not a spaceship or a signal from another civilization. It's a natural interstellar traveler, shedding gas and dust as it passes through our solar system. Its importance lies not in science fiction, but in real science. The chance to study material formed around a distant star, to touch a piece of the galaxy's history and to witness the incredible variety of worlds that exist beyond our own. Every comet like this opens a tiny window into another solar system, another story written in ice and dust, moving silently across the universe, 
inviting us to discover and understand.